Non, en fait, le, le problème qui est, c'est que beaucoup euh, de chanteurs qui vont être présents aujourd'hui, euh, leur avion est en retard. Donc, ils vont peut-être arriver, peut-être pas arriver, c'est la surprise. Mais on en a qu'un, mais on en a un bon, et c'est Prince Salah. Euh, non des moindres, voilà. Donc, en direct de Kingston. Euh, donc, cette conférence, au départ, le, le, le thème, c'était un petit peu... Euh, l'expérience des chanteurs jamaïcains en son système et l'importance du son système dans la musique jamaïcaine qui est euh, euh, un petit peu euh, qui, euh, qui est le, le, j'allais dire le, l'instrument de musique euh, de la musique jamaïcaine c'est le son système euh, donc c'est quelque chose qui naît à la fin de la seconde guerre mondiale euh, avec euh, l'arrivée en fait la récupération du matériel euh, militaire souvent du matériel audio militaire qui arrive en Jamaïque et euh, qui est réutilisé en fait pour créer des sonos euh, sur lesquels euh, on diffuse euh, les radios euh, qu'on peut capter des états unis Donc c'est un peu comme ça que naît le centre système euh, en Jamaïque et qu'il acquiert très vite une importance sociale euh, assez importante. Voilà, donc euh, Prince Salah, lui, euh, est un chanteur euh, qui est plutôt un chanteur de studio mais qui a une petite expérience en son système. Euh, avant de commencer, je voulais vous demander si ça vous dérange, est-ce qu'on peut faire tout en anglais ou pas ou est-ce qu'il faut tout traduire Ça va, on va s'en débrouiller. Voilà, ça vous fera réviser. On... Donc voilà, ça fait tout l'emploi. Euh, donc moi, je ne me suis pas présenté. Je m'appelle Sébastien Carayol. Euh, je suis journaliste, réalisateur de documentaires et euh, commissaire d'exposition. Et je travaillais beaucoup pour le magazine euh, de reggae Native Red, euh, qui s'est arrêté en 2010, dans lequel j'avais une rubrique euh, plutôt centrée sur l'Angleterre et aussi euh, sur les chanteurs un petit peu oubliés que j'allais retrouver aux états unis euh, euh, où je réside en fait. Et euh, donc voilà, on a fait ce magazine pendant huit ans et euh, là je travaille encore un petit peu pour un magazine américain qui s'appelle Wax Poetics, qui est euh, une espèce de magazine un petit peu pour les diggers, les gens qui cherchent, qui cherchent de la soul, du funk, du reggae, des raretés. Et euh, voilà, et je fais un petit label qui s'appelle Real Heavy Music, un label de réédition. Où, euh, c'est un petit peu la même histoire, c'est, c'est de retrouver les gens qui peuvent oublier du reggae, qui auraient mérité d'avoir un plus grand succès que ce qu'ils ont eu, et euh, moi je vais les retrouver et je ressors euh, euh, leurs euh, leur morceaux. Euh, par ailleurs, pour finir, et après j'arrête, euh, je m'occupe d'une très grosse exposition qui va avoir lieu en avril 2017 à Paris, à la Philharmonie de Paris, sur euh, l'histoire des musiques jamaïcaines, du, euh, de l'esclavage jusqu'au dancehall, avec euh, énormément d'instruments de musique, que son système, je suis allé récupérer en Jamaïque. Donc ça, ça ouvre en avril 2017 et euh, j'espère que vous viendrez. Voilà. Avec Ina de Yard va jouer euh, notamment. Enfin, il y aura des concerts, des expos, euh, pas mal de choses. Voilà, on s'en reparlera. Donc voilà, pour les présentations. Euh, Prince Salah, let me ask you, how did you get your start in music? Well, give thanks to be here and give thanks for everyone to eat that is here to, to be here, you know? Rastafara. Well, how I really get started in music is through the inspiration of, of, of Rastafara, you know? That's where how I can really get started in music, you know? But I love music from, I was a little youth, a little youth, you know? Because my Grandmother used to carry me to a church, you know, right next to my home, and she was in the choir. And she, when when there's a harvest time or any function in the church, she would make me come and sing to our father, you know, as a little youth, you know, and people say, yes, little youth, and them things, you know. So I love the music from a little youth days, you know, Rastafari. Was there already a lot of uh, sound systems going on when you were a youth? Yeah, man. When I youth, all of the big sound systems was going on. Cox and Duke Reed, you know, all of the sounds there, you know. Emperor of Fiat, you know. All socialist roots, all kind of sound was going on at the time, there, you know. But when I was a youth, I used to steal away and go and listen to the dance. But they used to play mostly scare in the dance sometimes, you know. With Derek Morgan and them man there, you know, 
I used to love go to the dance and enjoy myself. But sometimes when I come home, I get a little beat. But still, the next dance are gone again, you know. Rasta boy, all right. Why were you getting beaten? Because, you know, your parents don't want you up here out in the street too late in the night, you know. So when they think I've gone to bed, I would take time and go through the window and go to the aunt. And if my mother come around and take the bed and I'm not there, you know, when I come, you know, it's a little beat. <laughs> How, how would you go uh, into the dance? Would you climb the fence or what was the... Because if you're a little kid or a little yeah, kid... Like... We, yes, we always... We have young friends and we, are, we always... In the day before the dance start, we have some little youth to go in the dance and look where the back fence is. The back there is already like a weak fence. So when the dance goes on, we go around there and climb over, you know? But if a big promoter them come and see we have to run out again and them things there, you know and so. But I had a friend all the while they used to say, make the youth them stay in the dance, man. Make the youth them stay. So give thanks. And his name was Jerry. He used to say, let the youth them stay, you know, so give thanks to Jerry. And then uh, so when you're on the dance, uh, what were some of your favorite uh, sound systems in your neighborhood? What was your favorite or your neighborhood sound system? Ah, well, you, you saw a sound system in, in, in British town by the name of Echo Vibration. That was my favorite sound. The promoter for that sound was a band by the name of Dexter. And all of us would so go there and sing. You know, me, Philip Fraser, Michael Prophet, you know, Sammy Dread. All of us would go at Echo Vibration and really sing on his mic. And, you know, hometown. And people say, yeah, yes, you to the good man and the most good in the world now, you know. Rastafari. So how uh, how did you approach Echo Vibrations, your little youth? Did you go and say, I want to sing? Like, how did that happen? Well, Echo Vibrations, you know, is a man that loves the youths then. So he always want to help youths, you know. So from him here, you're singing now, so he say, come on, come sing for my son, man. You know, so we'll be safe. When the dance is playing, we could go in there and be safe, you know, and just sing and everybody say, yes, people start to accept us now and say, yeah, man. So every dance, they would look for us to come there, you know. Do you remember the, the first day you grabbed the mic? How was it? There were other DJs and singers and you just asked for the mic? Or how did that happen? Well, the first day I got the mic still, it, 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 it like a vibration given the mic and I was trembling, you know, nervous and a trembling. You say, oh, you mean, you have, you have big chat, now is your time, sing now. And people start to say, yeah, man, sing. So, we start, we just do it. And people say, yeah, and we just accept it and we love it from that, you know, we just, yeah. How old were you? How, what was your age when you... Every time they were going to school, you know, little youth, you know, about 12, 13, you know. So that first time, do you remember what song you sang? No, we used to sing, we used to sing uh, uh, Ken Booth, them song and, you know, you know, what song? Ry Shirley songs and, you know, you know, no song is the man. No, Can you no sing us one of these songs now? Yeah. Can you sing one of these songs now? Yeah. Uh, yes, Yes, man. Ah, Rasta Farai. Do you remember what? Yeah, but I remember nice to go on, yeah, man. What, what was the big scat? Please stop your lying, girl, and speak the truth. If you don't love that guy, tell him you don't. Every night you're on the beach. With another guy When a poor guy works so hard To make you big and strong Yeah, that was one I sang <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the one I knew you would remember one Yes, for sure. yes, yes, for sure So, and then, so, so How long, do you remember how many times You, you sang on that sound system With uh, echo vibration? How long did you stay? Were you part of the sound or? 
yeah man, yeah man. We just, we just do it bit by turns, you know. I would sing and Philip Fraser would sing, Michael Prophet would sing, you know, and we just do it in round and round and the man say, yeah, my mic, no. And he's the other one, mic, and then the man say, yeah, my, and you know, we share it. You know, it was nice, nice experience, man. Rastafari. Was it, was he only, was he holding big dances or was it a small local sound system? Was his dance big or? No, no, the, the time the echo vibration was a top sound, like how you have a Studio One sound and Two Creed sound and King Tubby's. Echo vibration was a big sound. We used to boast about it because that was British town, pride and joy, echo vibration, you know? Yeah. And then, so your first recordings were with uh, Joe Gibbs? Right? Yeah, yeah, my first recording for Joe Gibbs. Well, no, I had a little group, you know, by the name of the leaders, me and Milton Henry, and a youth named Roy Palmer. So we used to sing, you know, at a corner where we call Little Dallas Corner, you know, and Joe Gibbs had a girlfriend right by, by the corner. So he used to come every evening and check his girlfriend and hear us singing. And he said, you want to join the group? And we say, yeah, man. Because I said, man, yeah, man. Look, I'm the real technician and them things. They know about music. And... But when him come to rehearse, him couldn't really sing. So I said, Joe Gibbs, you, you, you like how oh, you can't sing. I bet you be a producer. And him say, yes. And I did the first song for Joe Gibbs. And, you know, that's how I really started Joe Gibbs. Yeah. But then you didn't stay on the sound system scene? Why is that? No, because after a time there was so much violence in the sound system, in the dance, you know. So my DJs start talk about their guns and dirty things about girls and things. And I never love it. So I never used to really prolong with it. I mostly used to go in the studio, you know. Like Channel One Studio, you know. Tough Gang Studio, you know. Dynamics and them place there, you know. But when you say violence in the dance, like, what did you see there that was violence? Just fighting, you know, and, 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 and you know, sometimes my man talk about them gun and them thing there, and the youths them start bring gun, come to the dance, and when a man say, boss, he gone, and we take out him gun and fight up that year, and police come and dance, mash up, and you have to jump the fence, and some people get cut up by the wire, and very zinc, and all them thing there, so I never love really them things there. Was, in, in these times was police mashing up a lot of dancers with like... No, it's course. more diplomatic now. You know, the, you have to have a license. If you don't have a license, they come and turn off the dance. It does a diplomatic way, you know? But a more soft way. First license. time they would come in with guns and, and some button and beat and them things there. But it's different now. How is it different now? Is it more mellow now? Or? Yeah, it's plenty better now. Plenty better. Jamaica is pl a, a plenty better place than 10 years ago. You know, the place is the same place, but the people have a change of mind, and most of the youths have a change of heart now. That's why I say, you know, in every dispensation, it's the youths them have to come and change it. You know, the elders will have the experience, but the youths have the strength to change things, you know? So we call upon the youths all the while, just change things for the best, anywhere it is in the whole world, you know? Rastafari. Right. So, so going back to these times when you are with the Echo Vibration, you are never tempted to go to a bigger sound? Like let's say John Joe was a big sound back then, and like you never tempted to go to different sounds or you stay with Echo Vibration? No, we just, we just call it echo vibration because you know it's like our sound is like a team you know like magic player and the magic player don't want to leave and go Barcelona or so you know so we don't steal you know yeah was there that sense that it's almost like a neighborhood pride yeah like a neighborhood pride you know yeah man yeah man so anytime the sound is playing anywhere we just go in the sound yeah and then all these, um, do you think the producers would go to dancers and sort of listen to who's uh, the producers? They would go to dancers and try to find the new talents 
you think? They would use sound system as that, like, oh, this singer is good, I'm going to record it. Yeah, man, yeah, man. You know, because the sound system, you know, the sound system is, is the thing that really burst the reggae music in Jamaica. It's not really the radio station. Because the radio station never used to play reggae music so much. They used to play Soka and Calypso and, and Blue Beat and, you know, American songs and them things there, you know. But the sound system that really made the Jamaican reggae music artists them really reach out, you know. Because you have Duke Creed sound, you know. Treasure Isle, as I was saying, you know. You know, Emperor Lord, Beat, Arrows, and all of them sound they used to play Jamaican music. Only sometimes they might play a one and two, you know, blues or what, but Jamaican music. So give thanks for the sound system in Jamaica, you know, and get the radio after time, pick it up. But the sound system is a leader for reggae music in Jamaica. So would you say that uh, a neighborhood that had a sound system, the, the sound system itself, would it participate in a... Uh, um, uh, keeping the peace in the neighborhood, in a sense? Because people go to the music and they don't fight Yeah, man. Much. Because, you know, you say, in Jamaica, the thing that keeps the peace the greatest is music and football. You know? So, the, we would have communities that was fighting against themselves. We would have them play some football against each other. And meanwhile, the football is playing. When the game finish, music play like what music is playing now. You know, everybody dancing and yeah and yeah and everybody being happy. You know, so music and sports, football is, is the two main things that bring people together in Jamaica. You know. So and then from from being that sound, uh, it sounds it sounds like all the singers you mentioned they all went to record with uh, Bertram Brown, Freedom Sounds, because you mentioned uh, Philip Fraser, yourself. Uh, Sammy Dread, they all recorded with Freedom Sound. Yeah. So did he go and shop, sort of, <laughs> grab all the best singers and record them for himself, or what was the process? You know, in, in, in them times, it was like a, as you say, it's a pride, like a, a community pride, because we live in Kingston 12, and just across the main road, which is Spanish on Road, is Kingston 13. And that, you know, is a, is a music champion, that Trenchstone. So Greenstone artists, them always want big up Greenstone and Greenstone sound and Trenchstone man, them big up Trenchstone man, them. You see it? Waterhouse man, them, Black Oro, them. So it's that. So every man is a pride, a community pride, but not, we don't fight each other them times there. The artists, them from Trenchstone, come down to Greenstone by the beach, British Palm Beach. And, and, and we'd roast fish, you know, and man would smoke him chalice and rehearse and sing the whole night. Man from Waterhouse come down, singers, you know, a singer from British from Goa Trench Town, same way, you know. But the first time I saw Bob Marley as a little youth, and a man said, I'm going to show you Bob Marley, and I go over there and I say, Bob Marley, and I say, this little youth here with him. Love souls and I hear my team and I hear Joe Hicks, you know, teaching them about the guitar and them thing there and I hear him voice and I say, boy, this person name have a different kind of voice, see, man, you know? Yeah, man, so we always communicate with each other, with love, you know, not with, with, with envy or grudge or nothing. We just love each other as music, music. When you are growing up, was it still the era where there was a lot of sound clashes? Or was it just one sound or was it sound clash? What yeah, it was, was sound clash but, but in a loving way. Where people How's that just possible? Like, 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 uh, as, the, as, as one sound just laugh at the next sound and say, ah, I will mash them up. But it's not like now. Now it brings violence. And man want to fight physically because it's sound loose. Them same sound dead, the same one uh, fight, you know, and them thing there, but not like first time, food. no, no, no fight. But nowadays, you know, you have a lick like that. But in the clashes in these times, there was a lot of humor and jokes. What was the best jokes you heard at that time? A sound against another, you know, the best insult or the funniest? 
Well, the best, the best musician and this in the music that I hear got with him, with him, with him, Derek Morgan, you know, and, and, and the singer, yeah, we sing the ska, you know. Yeah, we do the ska music, you know. Blackhead Chinaman, you know, blazing fire. He said, you got your blazing fire, you know, and you know, it's but pure happiness. Them times, them man. What does that mean, blazing fire? Eh? You know, like a man say, if it's fire, that means him hot. Hotter than the next one, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know? Like me a fireman one, you know, you know? And what was the other one you say, black and shiny man? Yeah, 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 you know? It just, it just, you know, some like a slur with each other. Happiness, you know? What were some uh, other, so, so when um, you start recording, with, uh, what was your biggest, your first hit with uh, Freedom Sound? Was it Stone or was it you had bigger hits before? Well, well, my biggest hit with Freedom Sound was I'm on Star Stone. You know? Can But, you sing a little bit of it? Yeah, I it said one that I sing my other. I'm on Star Stone, just I come from mash down road. Great, great stone, just I come from mash down road. That was my biggest one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Rastafari! Yes, right. Yeah. That was my biggest song for, 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 for freedom song, you know? And then, then we are talking about more, uh, maybe lesser known songs you did. We are talking about the Young Wings. Young Wings Will Fly. You remember yeah, this one? For, that was for... That was different was, producer. That was uh, for a different... High Times. Yeah, that was for a different artist. A different sound, but I, I I record for 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 Stars label, you know, like that, that Ultra, that Azuki's label? Daniel in the Lions Den and all them songs there, you know. Are you, are you surprised that um, some of your songs got really popular in the UK on the UK circuit, the fast ones, you know, like Daniel and this type of songs? Were they really big in Jamaica too, or do you have any songs that were bigger you think in the UK than in Jamaica? Well, the thing about Jamaica in the 70s, most of the artists, when, when you record for a promoter, they would send songs to England and tell you that nothing now go on. That means, say, uh, there is nothing happening, you know? But when somebody come from England and tell you that if they hear your song, they would say, it's a man of their pirate, my man. I'm going to get a lawyer and swim, but they never get no lawyer because it's them that do the business with the people in England, you know? So, we, the artists in the 70s, is that we used to go through. So, most of my songs is only stone really release, really release in Jamaica. The rest is just England. So, you know, a lot of people in Jamaica don't really do, do most of my songs, like the people in England and Europe, you know? So tonight you are going to sing on a sound system? Yeah. Do you prefer to do live shows or sound system? And how is it different? Why well, I prefer any one of the people I love. We just want the people I'm happy. You know? Anyone. But we love, we love, we love, we love the live show still, you know. But the, the sound system one is more intimate because the people are near to you. When you're on the live band, you know, you're on a big stage and you can't even touch the people and hey, we love touch the people and dance to them, you know, so we love the sound system thing. Do you still do a lot of sound system yeah, now? Yeah, we love the sound system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, do you still sing upon a lot of sound systems nowadays? Yeah, but mostly on touring, because I tour plenty with Asha Selector, sound system style, the whole of 2000, come to, to, you know, the 2000, about 10, 9, 10, with Asha Selector. So I did, I did plenty sound system things. Oh yeah, t tell me about this first, uh, the first time you sang with Asha Selector. You thought it was going to be a live show and then you come and it's sound system. Can you tell me about this first time? Yeah, well the first time with Asha Selector, I was in Jamaica and in, in past to my home and I would like to come to Switzerland and sing and do a show in. And I said, yeah, man. But when I reached Switzerland, now I asked him, then where's the band? And he said, no, there's no band. You know, it's a, 
It's a sound system show you, some sound system show you're gonna do. So I just say, all right, because I was familiar with the sound system already, so I just got you with it. And it worked. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Um, anybody has questions? Rastafari. Des questions Non, des questions. Personne n'a aucune question pour Prince Alas, c'est pas possible. Est-ce que tu peux lui demander qui a produit la note que tu peux lui demander Non, c'est le piano. Non, c'est le piano. Non, c'est le piano. Non, c'est le piano. Tell us, Stéline Rasta. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us who produced the song, the beautiful song, Boss Rap? Yeah, well, that song was done for, for, for Stars label. And I did it, I did it at the Ark Studio, Lee Scratch Ferry Studio, the Ark Studio. And it was a beautiful day for me. Because when I go to record that song, Lee Scratch Ferry came to me and started spinning me around. And mm, mm, it was a, you know, a spiritual day, man. Lee Scratch Ferry at the Ark Studio, I did that buzz rap. Yes. And the Upsetters was, was a musician, Upsetters, the band, yes. And do you have good memories to share from Sound System Scene? From Sound System Station, you remember? Sound System Station? Yeah, do you have good memories from Sound System Station you can share with us? Yeah, man, I have a lot of good memories, man, you know? A lot of good memories, man, That's with sound system, man, you know? Yeah, man. Because he used to have a, a DJ by the name of Jamaics, you know? And, and when, 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 when people be out, outside, hundreds of people outside, and when he come to the dance, everybody break down the gate and push the, 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 the man who collect the money and go in at the dance. So sometimes we used to wait until Jamaics come, then we could go in and dance free. <laughs> because everybody would have rushed the gate man and say, yeah man, this the star come and mm, and no gate man, so like no bother. So we just going free. <laughs> That's my you know, one, one of my little experience. Yeah. Good question? No? Rastafari. Hello. Uh, yes. I'd like to know what uh, difference you make between uh, the crowd in the sound system, for example in Jamaica and in Europe. What difference you see in the crowd when you play sound system? Do you see a difference between the Jamaican crowd or the Europe crowd? Yeah, I see a difference. It's even in the music. Because I see the European, when I come to Europe, I see the rhythms that they love is mostly stepping, stepping rhythm, you know? You know? And, 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 and the people enjoy themselves more in the dance in, 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 in Europe. You know? I don't know. But they just love the music more. You know? More than even people in Jamaica. And why do you think yeah. so? Why do you think so? That explanation? Uh, I feel like they are more aware to consciousness. You know? They are more aware to the words than that the song is saying. That than most people. Most people in Jamaica love dance. You know, but people in Europe love to dance, but they love to listen to the lyrics, what they say. So they are always ahead. And I love that. So that's why, that's why conscious lyrics always work good on some system? Hello? That's why conscious lyrics works good on some system? That's why, that, that's why plenty of people come to the sound system in Europe because conscious lyrics is there. Yeah, man. Thanks. And I pick them up for that. Rastafari. Uh, Any question? Pas du tout. Bon, en tout cas, merci. Et je vous propose d'applaudir. Ah non. Ah, oh là là, c'est bon. Yes, Rastafari, Prince Anna. Give thanks and give, praise. Give thanks, my elder, you know? Yes, I. We love you all, Rasta. All Rasta youth. I want to tell you a question about repatriation. Yeah. Uh, where is the repatriation? For who? And uh, where we go? Where we go for the repatriation? 
Where is the promised land? With the promised land, yes, my dad. Give thanks, Prince Alan. Rastafari. Rastafari, I said. Well, to, to tell you the truth, the promised land that I see in myself is in, is in me. You know, because the whole world is the, is, is, is the one God created the whole world. So anywhere that you can live and live in happiness and peace is the promised land. You know, like some people say, they have to die to go to heaven or die to go to hell. I don't think so. I think that hell and heaven is in your mind. It's the way you live. If you live good, you're in heaven. If you live bad, you're in hell. You know? So, uh, I think that the whole world is a creation of the Almighty. The whole world is heaven. Heaven and earth. I don't think heaven is just one little piece of earth, piece of the earth. I think the earth is the heaven. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, can I ask you a question about spirituality? Um, I'd like to know a little bit about your involvement with the Bobo Shanti family. Yeah. The Bobo Shanti family? Yes. I'd like to know a little bit about uh, your recent involvement with them and, and a, little, a little bit about this family and your, your experience with them. Well, well, the Bobo Shanti family, you know, I, he's just a part of Rastafari, you know? But the difference now that is making so much war in this world is, 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 is because of names, you know? It's not because of the, the, the journey, because of names, you know? Because I feel like the 12th tribe, the Bobo, the Orthodox, you know? The Bingy man, I think it's just one road and just different names. You know, but people quarrel over names and say, I don't want him 12th tribe, I want him Bobo. And the next man says, I don't want him Bobo, I want him Orthodox. And that is causing problem in the earth, you know? I feel like the unity, you know? It's, it's like saying the right hand is quarreling with the left hand. You know? And the, the right foot are quarreling with the right left foot. You know, when people quarrel about who is God. You know? And, 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 and who have the more, the eyes are with the lowest, you know? I think all is one and one is all. But it's the way you do it, you know? Yeah, man. So, the bubble. A Rastafari, the 12th tribe, a Rastafari, you know? And, 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 and the spirituality of, of, of what I see in Bobo is just that. Bobo is a man that loves to keep his Sabbath day holy, you know? And I respect that to the Bobo. He, he loves to keep his Sabbath day holy, you know? But all is one and one is all, you know? Yes, Rastafari. Bon, bon encore un petit euh, dernier euh, applaudissement pour Prince Salah. Merci beaucoup. 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 Merci You're like flowers in the garden, you know? And, and, and I'm here to just behold the flowers and give thanks for life that I have, that I can see the flowers in the garden. So beautiful. So I love you all. One love, one year, one destiny. Daniel in the lion's den. Brother Daniel and those lions was praying. Praise him. Love you. Rastafari. Love, one love, one love. And one thing before I finish with due respect, I big up my brethren, Thomas, you know, and give thanks that he helped that I could be in, 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 um, in, in, in this land, you know, in the Netherlands, and give thanks, my brother, and give thanks to Rockers International, 
and give thanks to the promoters of this festival that I put the year. Thank you all. Thank you, my brother and sister. Rastafari. And I'll do my best tonight to make you happy. Right? Classy eye. Rastafari.